Hi all, everything in my video is pulled from the public domain and I am using them under the Fair Use Fair Dealings Guidelines. Everything I say is my own opinion. You should look into this information for yourselves, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Good morning, everybody. You guys, there's so much to cover in this video. We have new allegations against William by Omid Scobie. That man's going to get sued, I'm telling you. We've got some other information about Harry leaving the UK, some other things that Harry got into trouble for while in the UK. Let's just cover it all. Let's get into it. Here we go. To start with, I found this on Twitter. I thought it was just hilarious. Remember I said, you know, yesterday, it's a good thing they found something to do with that old dress of Megan's. Here's a close-up, just in case you couldn't get a good gander at it. Now, moving on. How many of you remember that I told you that something would be released to garner sympathy for Megan? Something would happen and they would release something to take the attention back to Megan on the day of that Diana statue unveiling. Well, I was right. Meghan Markle's uncle, you know, the one who helped get her the internship at the uh, embassy out of the country, um, the one that she did not invite to the wedding, the one that she never invited to meet Harry or her children, the one that she ghosted years ago, he died after an extended battle with Parkinson's. Now, everybody said he, he liked to be called Mike, and he was a very soft-spoken, gentle, nice guy. And in 2020, he was talking to Express, and what he said was, and this is probably what helped cement his, uh, you know, um, being thrown out, um, he said, quote, Megan famously said, not many people have asked if I'm okay. She would do well in this time of a genuine crisis to ask if her dad is okay. So anyway, she'd frozen this man out of her life. She hadn't spoke to him in years. She never introduced Harry to him. She had nothing to do with him. But she released, the, the article was released that her ex-diplomat Uncle Mike dies and she was just devastated. She just was heartbroken. Yeah, she's so heartbroken. She probably will not attend the funeral. Basically saying that I just had a baby, even though Lilibet's about a month old at this point. She'll probably send a wreath and then she'll release what kind of flowers they were and what her personal note was, you know, like she did at Philip's funeral. Anyway, do you guys remember what she said about when she got that job at the embassy and how she got it? Megan did an interview with Vogue in 2013, and she told the magazine then how she was short of credits to complete her junior year and how she applied for an internship at the U.S. Embassy in Buenos Aires for a few months and how she applied to get it. and She was lucky enough to get it and all, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, come to find out, that's not exactly what happened. She lied. Uh, is anybody here surprised? Per her sister, she never worked for the embassy. Their father paid for a six-week internship, and because the uncle, the one who just died, who she froze out of her life, worked for the U.S. State Department at the time, he gave her a letter of recommendation. That's how she got the internship. She didn't just get it on her own. It was paid for by her dad. All right, moving on to the next story. Now, I told you guys yesterday that there were rumors that Harry left the UK just as quickly as he could. He like boarded a plane right after the Diana event and left. And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. People are absolutely up in arms because Harry could have stuck. I mean, he'd already been through quarantine. He could have stuck around for another day or two, but he ran as quick as he could because he didn't want to meet up with the queen. Now, for those of you who were saying the Queen was in Scotland, she actually returned to Kensington later that day. So had Harry hung around for a couple more hours, he might have seen his 95-year-old grandmother, who he hadn't seen in how many years now? All right, I just can't. Moving on to the next topic. It was brought to my attention on Twitter that the sugars are coming up with these ideas for t-shirts and coffee cups and mugs and stuff. You guys all remember when Diana famously said in her interview there were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded? Well, in response to the picture above, which is being put on t-shirts, somebody wrote, hey, Has, your mom felt this was a bad thing. She never intended you to carry on the tradition. I just thought that was so good. Now, after isolation ended, Harry, before the Diana unveiling, went to the Well Child Awards, of which he is a patron. 
And he chatted with people and, you know, he made it look like he was such a great person. He was dressed all casual and he talked about how having two children is such a struggle. Yeah, right. Like they don't have a nanny. Anyway, all was not well on the front there, though. Apparently, one of the mothers of the children that Harry met that day wrote on Twitter about how her child was so excited to meet him and she she thought he was so lovely to come and meet them. And some of the kids asked if they could see a picture of Lilibet and her response, his response was, you would think he'd been asked to throw her under a bus. His face turned to thunder. He moved on to the next child. Liv, it doesn't begin to describe me now, she wrote. Who the TF does he think he is? I am not surprised that he behaved this way. Remember, mystery and shrouding. He probably thought that the kid was put up to it by the parents. I mean, but I mean, this guy is so paranoid. I, I'm just, I'm over him. Now, this next story is a doozy. Omid Scobie. Uh, he better get ready for some lawsuits. I think this is about to, to, to just blow up. Omid Scobie actually claims that Prince William's staff planted stories about Harry's mental health after Harry said the feuding royals were on different paths. That boy better have some proof because what he claims is that in the aftermath of the interview, that William was, quote, worried about Harry's mental health and that though that was deliberately planted by his staff to sow the seeds of further division. Now, again, no evidence to support his claims. He's just out there talking, 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 trying to get the tide to turn in Harry's favor. Let me tell you, if I was William, I'd be shooting off a letter from attorneys to Omid Scobie saying, let's have your proof. Let's go. That's slander. That's libel. I mean, I can't believe he actually said that. It's shocking to me. Of course, it's no different than when he said that not only was there one person who supposedly is a racist in the royal family, now he's claiming there's multiple people who are racist in the royal family, and there were multiple conversations, but of course, again, provided no proof. This is just like when he claims that the palace never defended Megan. Mm-hmm. I think we all know from looking at these, the palace defended Megan and Harry plenty. I mean, I, I mean, at some point this has to stop. Like, this is like overkill already. When are they going to stop complaining? When are they going to stop with the allegations? I mean, really, I, I, it's just so much. But I think between the Oprah interview, the, the, the rooftop bus interview, the Me You Can't See interview, the People Magazine interview, now Oprah apparently is going to release some more. There's, I mean, it's just, when does this end? One of my followers said it best. She spends her whole life telling us how hurt she is while she's busy hurting others full time. Bravo and a spot on comment. Now, I wanted to point out something I said to you yesterday about the fake pregnancies and the inflating and deflating bump. This picture that you're looking at above was on January 16th, okay? That belly is pronounced. It is big. I don't care what you're wearing. That's, that's what's happening. Now look at this next picture, which was taken February 25th, over a month later. The belly is smaller. That's what we're talking about. But of course, Megan turned this into a racial thing. Yes, yes, it's racist. And here's the proof. It's been suggested that she is online, being online abused as a pregnant person because she's a woman of color. That's right, people. If she was white and her baby bump was going up and down, they're claiming you wouldn't be saying anything. I got news for you. Yes, we would. And I only have one more statement about that mess, and that's the fact that for somebody who likes to sue everybody who prints things that are untrue, notice she has not threatened to sue anybody about the surrogacy uh, rumors or stories that are flying. She's not suing anybody because she wouldn't be able to defend it in court. At least that's my opinion. It's been update time. I snuck this picture in while he was sleeping after coming home from puppy daycare where he played all day. Anyway, I know you guys are worried that he's bored when he's home alone. He doesn't play, but watch this.
A lot of information again, but I want to read your comments. What do you think about Omid coming out now and claiming that William has been planting stories about Harry? What do you think about Harry's behavior at the Well Child Awards? And what do you think about him not sticking around for just a few hours to see his grandmother? And finally, what do you think about the announcement about Megan's uncle's death on the day of the Diana statue unveiling? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget you can follow me on Twitter. Don't forget you can email me. Don't forget about that coffee fund. And as always, you guys have a safe and fabulous July 4th holiday and a great day.